subscribe and download over 1 million code snippet including this tutorial from codegive.com, link in the description below. Certainly. Below is an informative tutorial about using Python socket module with the Cento method, along with a code example demonstrating its usage. Python socket module provides a low-level interface for network communication. The Cento method is particularly useful when working with UDP, user datagram protocol, sockets. UDP is a connectionless protocol, which means it doesn't establish a permanent connection before sending data. Instead, it sends packets, datagrams, directly to the recipient. In this tutorial, we'll create a simple UDP sender using Sento. We'll send a message from one machine to another over the network. Importing the socket module, we start by importing the socket module, which provides the necessary functions for creating and using sockets. Creating a UDP socket, we create a UDP socket using socket.socket, socket.af underscore inet, socket.sock underscore gram. This line creates a socket object for IPv4 addresses, socket.af underscore inet, and UDP protocol, socket.sock underscore gram. Defining destination address and port, we define the destination address, dest underscore address, and port, dest underscore port, to which we want to send a message. In this example, we use a loopback address 127.0.0.1 and port 12345. You should replace these with the appropriate values for your scenario. Sending a message, we prompt the user to enter a message to send. Then, we use the Cento method of the socket object to send the message to the specified destination. We encode the message using message.encode since sockets transmit bytes, not strings. Handling errors, we handle any potential errors that may occur during the sending process and print an appropriate message. Closing the socket, finally, we close the socket using sock.close, to release any resources used by the socket. In this tutorial, you learned how to use Python socket module with the Cento, method to send UDP packets over the network. This method is useful for scenarios where you need to send data without establishing a connection beforehand, such as in real-time applications or network diagnostics. Feel free to ask if you have any questions or need further clarification on any part of the tutorial. Chat GPT